You're listening to today's issues on American Family Radio. Well, the uh, Super Bowl is a week from Sunday, and our friend, our next guest, has been doing ministry at uh, in and around the Super Bowl weekend, a Christian ministry for many, many years. Roman, and he's on with us most every year about this time. Roman Gabriel the Third, president of Sold Out Youth uh, of the Sold Out Youth Foundation, and he's based out of North Carolina. Roman, good morning to you. Hey, Tim. How are you? Great to be with you. So tell us about this year's Super Bowl and what your ministry is going to be doing. Well, Tim, first of all, for 11 years, I want to thank American Family Association and American Family Radio for supporting not only the Roman Gabriel Show, uh, our podcast that's on your website. Uh, we, We take it very seriously, and we're always excited to bring high-profile sports and entertainment stars talking about their faith, talking about their platform. And, of course, the Super Bowl is the number one platform for uh, getting the message out for these athletes all over the world as it's the biggest sporting entertainment uh, happening that happens right here in the United States every year. So we've been committed for 28 years to covering high-profile NFL athletes of character, faith, and uh, those that really care about the next generation of youth. And that's what our foundation, the Sold Out Youth Foundation, is all about. So we have a week-long youth initiative going on starting Monday where we'll be at Mountainside Middle School in the Scottsdale Unified School District doing our drug and alcohol abstinence program for 250 middle middle school students. Um, We'll also on Tuesday night be at Legacy Cares uh, out in Mesa, Arizona, an incredible sports facility doing a football camp where we'll have a ton of NFL athletes and high school coaches working with uh, junior high and high school kids, and we'll give a drug and alcohol education talk through our Sold Out Youth Foundation there. Uh, and then Wednesday through Friday, which you've joined me before on Radio Row, which is the official NFL media site of Super Bowl, we'll be bringing in high-profile athletes and coaches uh talking on our program, the Roman Gabriel Show, and we'll have a Roman Gabriel Show Super Bowl podcast special that'll be on AFR. Just check uh, Roman Gabriel Show on the podcast page, and we'll have that up for you guys this weekend where we'll be interviewing a lot of great NFL coaches and players. Of course, it's going to be a great game between the Chiefs and the Eagles. And then on Friday night, we're going to finish it off with our second annual Legends and Leaders Super Bowl Celebration and Foundation Fundraiser for Sold Out Youth Foundation. And uh, our guests for that will have a sports panel for youth. Uh, Nate Boyer, former two-time Afghanistan soldier and uh, University of Texas long snapper. Lee Steinberg, uh, super agent, the agent to uh, Patrick Mahomes of the Chiefs. Um, We'll also have uh, Ronaldo Wynn, former Notre Dame and Jacksonville Jaguar. uh, And Paul McDonald, former uh, national champion USC quarterback and Cleveland Brown quarterback. So we'll have leaders from education, politics, and sports. And our main goal uh, throughout the week and with our organization right now is solving the fentanyl problem, the crisis in, that we have currently in our country killing hey, yeah, I want to ask 200,000 people. Absolutely. I want to ask you about that because you and I were talking about that on the phone the other day. But first of all, I want people to know what does, uh, your, your ministry is sold out. That's the name of it. Sold, sold out. So sold, sold, so sold, sold, sold out, sold out to who and for what? And sold out to what? What? What is that about? Well, yeah, we we have been about um, challenging students to be drug and alcohol abstinent. And when I played football at every level, our coaches used to tell us, "You got to sell out to be your best. You got to sell out." And sometimes that means that you have to focus on uh, pursuing your dreams and goals with all that you have. Uh, don't leave anything on the field. If anybody's ever heard that statement playing football, so. We're all about getting sold out students to be drug and alcohol abstinent and to pursue their dreams and goals. So if your parents want to get great educational tools that we're currently in public and private schools, it's a 100 percent online program. They can go to soldouttv.com and check out our program. It's a drug and alcohol abstinence program for sixth through 12th graders. And we have all sorts of video tools. It's great for your kids on their cell phones. We talk to kids about drug and alcohol abstinence, setting goals, pursuing their dreams, preparing for college. And our newest program that we're providing to schools is our fentanyl education program, educating uh, parents and their students about the dangers of fentanyl and how social networking targets our kids to sell them illicit pharmaceutical drugs, uh, vape, 
marijuana, and we have uh, over 300 people dying a day in our country, 200,000 in the last two years, number one killer of 13 to 45-year-olds. And uh, just yesterday, Tim, we had a three-year-old uh, boy that died in Apache Junction right outside Phoenix from fentanyl overdose because there was a pill disguised as an opioid or a painkiller that one of the parents had, got his hands on it, swallowed it, and died on the spot. So this week at Super Bowl, we're working with the Phoenix Police Department and with um, radio and television networks to spread the word about the dangers of fentanyl and how parents can protect themselves. Your audience can protect their kids if they'll just understand uh, that these illicit drugs, that if they're taken or, or bought online uh, through anything but a pharmacy, it's dangerous. Uh, basically, what kids do is they go on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. They sell these things like Percocet, painkillers, opioids. Uh, they, they purchase them uh, illegally through the cartels that set up these things, and then they have it sent directly to their home. Uh, we have a mom, Masa Yeager, who will be speaking at our event Friday night, who her daughter was a gymnast at Suora High School, beautiful young lady. Um, she had a knee injury. One of her friends on Snapchat saw where she could get pain pills at a discount. She ordered them. It came directly to her home. She took the first pill and died in her bedroom. Her mom found her that night. She had no idea about how this happened or about how fentanyl worked. And this is the story that I'm hearing all across the country right now, losing innocent kids. And that doesn't mean kids that are doing drugs. They can, they can touch it. Yeah. What, they can take what, it in through their nostrils. What's your website, uh, Ray, Roman? They can go to soldouttv.com. Go to the top right on fentanyl education. We'll be bringing fentanyl test kits to Phoenix as well as Narcan, which is naloxone, which is the only thing that can save someone from an opioid overdose. It's nostril spray. It's available free anywhere you live. Just go on site where you live there in Mississippi or Phoenix or any town you're in. Look up Naloxone and Narcan, and you can order that and get it free at many places. And it's simply a nasal spray. And even if it's not opioids, it can't hurt somebody. So it's our one defense, Tim, is to educate our parents and kids on on this terrible poison that is killing people. All right. What's your website again real quick? Soldouttv.com. All right. Thank you.